Hey everyone, Jigsaw Killer here. So I saw the news about Shinji Mikami and thought, why not make a video about it and discuss it? So in the coming months, Shinji Mikami will be leaving Tango Gameworks. This is the studio that he founded all the way back in 2010. And this is also when they started doing the first, like, uh, you know, developments for The Evil Within as well. Now at first glance, this looks shocking, and it is. You know, Shinji Mikami is such a big deal. Like, just having his name with the studio will make people play the, whatever games they're working on. Especially if his name comes up as the director. Now, here's the thing. I don't find this that surprising. And the reason for that is if you've seen the documentary about him and the interviews he's done in the last couple of years, he's been, like, very, like, adamant about helping out young developers and not really shows with their latest games. Looking at uh, Ghostware Tokyo, directed by Kenji Kimura. And then uh, John Johannes, who directed the Evil Within DLC, the Evil Within 2, and most recently Hi-Fi Rush. But uh, yeah, I see him, I see him leaving as him being like confident in the team at Tango and that he can work on games without his guidance. So if that's the reason. Then I, I, I definitely agree with that. Uh, the Evil Within 2 is stellar. You know, Ghost World Tokyo is pretty good. It's not perfect, but I, I enjoyed playing it. Uh, Hi-Fi Rush, though, that's a different story. I think that game is amazing, and it's that to me, that's just complete proof that, you know, Tango by themselves without Sinji, they'll do just fine, honestly. Uh, but yeah, on to the reason why, you know, why I'm making this video, why we're here. The elephant in the room. What happens with the evil within? Is it just dead, now that he's gone? Personally, I think no. I think if they make another game, it'll be because they want to, and not really if Mikami is there or not. You know, he was a he was a producer in Evil Within 2, and you know, a lot of people see that as a big improvement over the original game, which does have a lot of flaws. The real question is now, if they make a third game, will they try to make it more grounded, set piece slash linear design like the first game, or Go with the open world side quests, you know, survival elements of the sequel. I do I, I do really like Evil Within 2, but the way it was designed was very generic and formulaic of, you know, more modern games that we've seen over the years. But uh, here's the thing. They would have learned a lot since both games came out, and I really can see a third game showing how they have improved. They'll have more resources with Microsoft support. Uh, and they've already done this as well. They designed the Eve Within 2 after the reception of the first, since they got a lot of criticism. You know, with the jankiness and the game was pretty optimized. But, uh, yeah, we just have to wait and see. Uh, but uh, yeah, I just want to end this by saying, you know, my, my three favorite games of all time is Resident Evil 1 Remake, Resident Evil 4, and the Eve Within. These are all Shinji Mikami directed games. You know, he's he's had a big impact on me. He's the reason I'm here making content at the, mo at the moment. But yeah, with that said, I do wish him all the best. And I do hope he'll be involved with something before retiring, honestly. Anyway, guys, thanks for listening to me ramble. And uh, do let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'd like to know your thoughts and everything. Do you think, you know, the, is the franchise dead now? Is it nowhere to be gone? Or do you agree with what I'm saying? If not, feel free to tell me what you think. Uh, yeah, till next time, guys. See you in the next video.